Welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at this bit of technology here. This is a Fat Shark Trinity head tracker. So this is uh, model number S FSV2413, and it comes with two or three cables. So depending on what radio you've got, you can still pop it in. Now it's actually designed to go inside of the goggles. Uh, so here is the Dominator V3s that were reviewed on the channel a while ago. And under this cover here on the side, there is the space for it. So above this bottom control board, there's actually a couple of pin sets. And you can see here that it's actually designed and shaped so that it just snaps on top of the existing board that's here. So it's all internal and very neat. So what we'll do in the video is we'll actually unpack it, we'll have a look at installing it into the goggles, uh, then we'll actually go through the radio setup, we'll do it on the Tyrannus, and then we'll go through connecting. First of all, let me open the packet, and while I'm doing this, let me just say a very big thank you to Fat Shark for sending us this to try. As you can see, we actually have three different cables. This is the one we're going to use with our Tyrannus. Uh, it has that three and a half millimeter stereo jack. Uh, we also have other types too. Um, so depending on what your radio is, if I hold them up here, you can kind of see what they look like and you'll know if they're going to fit your radio or not. Um, they all come in the packet. You can buy them separately as well, um, but they just plug into this port underneath the goggles under where the uh, head tracker is actually installed. So let's actually take the head tracker out of the foam. It comes um, embedded in this kind of anti-static foam. So be careful, this is a circuit board. Make sure that you're uh, grounded and you haven't got any static. Comes the very simple manual here. Uh, we'll go through some of this stuff uh, when we get into the slides later on. And then we have the actual module itself. And you can see it's quite small. And there are the sets of pins that um, snap in, actually inside the goggles. They have like power at the front, I think it is, and signal at the back. So that's actually going to go into the goggles. So let me just grab it. So you can see here that um, you have the big set of pins at the back and the two pins at the front. And it's just a case of popping them in. I found to install these, it's easier to locate the front two pins first and then the back ones. Installing it is a 30 second job. So here it is actually in position. You can see it's uh, those two pins at the front and the five or six pins at the back and it sits in really nicely above the board that's already there. So I can snap the cover back on. So what we'll do is we'll uh, get ready to install the cable. But before I start putting things together, let's just talk a little bit about how the head tracker works. With the head tracker installed, we're now ready to start putting the system together. The defaults that come configured on the Trinity head tracker are perfect for how we're going to set it up. Now, the manual does talk about the different beeps and things that you can do to change the channels that are being used and whether or not it's outputting normal or extended ranges. But to do that, the top tip is you hold the head tracker button down as you apply the power. But we're not going to need to do any of that because the defaults that are being used here are going to be fine for how we're going to set the radio up. And I'll set them up with the defaults and then you can see how that all works. The default is that it's a normal range and the range is how far the signals go side to side, up, down or tilting. Uh, the pan servo comes out on channel 5, the tilt servo comes out on channel 6, and the roll servo comes out on channel 7. So out of the bottom of our goggles, over that little thin cable, is going to be a stream of PPM signals, and channels 5, 6 and 7 are going to be our pan, tilt and roll information for how we have our head positioned. We'll start at the very beginning with our Dominator V3 goggles with the Trinity head tracker installed on the left hand side. That's the cable dangling out of the bottom of them that we have the right cable for whatever the trainer port is on the back of the radio we're using. Now that is going to output all of our PPM signals so we're going to need a radio to plug it into. We're going to use our Tyrannus radio that we've used in loads of other videos. We have a complete Tyrannus series and also videos dedicated on the Tyrannus to how you set up trainer mode which is what you need to set up and also how you set up head trackers too. So I'll put a link here to the Tyrannus videos if anything that we're covering in here doesn't make sense. We are going to go through each of the steps on the Tyrannus radio to give you an idea of what you need to do, 
but we won't spend quite as much time as we did in those videos as we've already covered it. So the radio is going to take those signals from the head tracker and then assign them to outputs on the radio receiver on the model. So we're going to need a radio receiver. In this case, we're going to use a trusty X8R and on that, we're going to plug in the two servos. It could be three for pan, tilt and roll, but in this case, we're just going to plug in pan, and tilt servos, um, although on the graphic here we have little 9 gram servos as illustrations, in reality what we're going to use is this little fat shark pan and tilt mount for cameras. This is one I've had for ages which is why it has this bit of carbon fibre at the bottom. It's been mounted on all kinds of things during its life. So let's have a think about how these channels actually all match up and then we can jump back to the desk and I'll show you physically how it all goes together. So out of the goggles themselves, we have the pan, tilt and roll channels coming out as channels 5, 6 and 7 on that PPM stream. The radio is going to be configured as a trainer. Uh, it'll be the master radio, so it'll assume that the signals coming in its back are coming from the student's radio. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pick up those channels from the student radio inside the Tronis, and then we're going to connect them to the outputs on the radio receiver. So in this case, just for simplicity, we're going to take the PPM channel 5, which is actually the pan signal, and we're going to put output it on the channel 5 output on the 8XR, and we're going to take the PPM channel 6 signal from the glasses, which is our tilt signal, and we're going to connect that onto channel output 6 on the radio receiver, which is where we'll plug our tilt servo in. So just to kind of ram that point home, because we are going to go through the radio setup in a second, but reasonably quickly. Here we have the tilt output or signal coming from our uh, Trinity head tracker in the glasses coming in on the PPN channel 6. The radio is then going to connect that PPM input from what it thinks is a student radio out onto output 6 on the radio receiver and then output 6 we're going to plug the tilt servo so we're connecting the tilt servo to the tilt signal from the goggles so you can see it's all green all the way through similarly with the other side with our pan output that's being output as channel 5 again these are all the defaults for the trinity head tracker going into the Tranus. that is being connected to channel 5 and then on the radio receiver we have the pan servo being plugged into channel 5 as well so it's all kept nice and simple now, of course, on the Tronus radio, we could have the PPM inputs from the goggles being output to any of the outputs on the X8R, which is the power of the Tronus. They could be on for outputs 5 and 6 as we had here. They could be on 6 and 7 or 7 and 8. They could be wherever you want them to be. And similarly, we're using a basic two servo setup here to show how to set it up. If you had a full three servo gimbal for your camera which had both pal, pan, tilt and roll. Obviously you'd include the additional channel that we're not using here, roll, and you connect the roll servo to and the other channel that you had set up. So now we understand in theory what's going to happen, let's jump back on the desk and look at how we're going to set the radio up. We don't need to do anything to the Fat Shark glasses or the Trinity head tracker because we're using the defaults and those defaults will work great. So here's the model that we've got set up and let me show you the couple of things that we need to do in order to connect the head tracker to it and get it all working. We'll just jump into the menu and the first thing we'll do is just go back and um, have a look at the special functions. We do need one of the special functions assigned to a switch that's going to turn on the trainer mode. That's the very first thing we need to do. My switch here up in the shoulder, you can see it go bold and not bold as I turn it on. We need that set and also make sure that the little tick box is done so that when we flick that switch the radio then starts listening to those student channels or the student radio uh, for the trainer function that we can then use to pass on to the receiver. Next thing we need to do then is we need to assign the inputs and we need to make sure that those signals that we're getting from the head tracker are being captured and managed. So if we just go to inputs here are all of our normal inputs, throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder, and we have two new ones here. So I've added one that's called head tracker 
tilt or HTT just to keep it simple. And as you go down here, normally in the source where you can actually choose all of your different switches, there's all the switches that we normally use. If you keep going right to the very end, there is the TR or the trainers. Now those are the PPM channels coming in from the head tracker. So that would be PPM channel one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. So we've actually set that up. We've also set another one up here and we've set it up for the pan servo for TR5. Now you'll notice one of these is minus 100 and one of these is plus 100. The easy way if you when you set up your head tracker and it isn't moving with the head tracker it's actually moving the wrong way so as you move the head tracker to the right the pan servo moves to the left. And the easy thing to do is just go in here and reverse the amount of signal the polarity of the signal that it's getting from that PPM channel it uh, makes it simple. Next thing to do of course is then select the output so if we go into mixer, what I've done is I've on channel five on the receiver, I've connected that to the input H head tracker tilt. So if we just look at that, there it is, I've called it head tracker till just so I can keep track of everything. And that's connected to head tracker T or HTT. Uh, everything else is absolutely standard. And again, we've done the same for the pan servo. So now what I need to do is plug the pan servo into channel six and the tilt servo into channel five. And if I just grab the 8XR, you can see that that's where the two servos are plugged into, five and six. So now the radio set up, what we're gonna do is I'm going to set it all out. We're going to plug the radio cable from the goggles which is this little cable here, we're going to plug that into the back of the radio, into this slot here, and then the radio is ready to go. So let me put everything back together, put it on the desk, and I'll show you it all working. Back on the desk, everything is now plugged in. So we have our 8XR with our pan and tilt servos uh, all connected. We're gonna connect that up in a second over to a little uh, battery eliminator circuit to power everything. We have our goggles with the lead coming out of the bottom here, going off screen onto our Tyrannus radio. So first of all, we'll power up the Tyrannus radio. Welcome to we'll power up the receiver. And then the last thing we'll do is we'll power up our goggles. Now, there's no FPV equipment on here, but because uh, you can't see any image or anything, but you'll notice that as I move the goggles around, nothing is happening. And that's because by default, the head tracker starts in kind of idle mode. To turn it on, you have to press this HT head tracker button. So as I press it, you'll see it sync with the pan and tilt servos over here with a gimbal and then we're in business so let me press it there we go now we're centered and now as I move the head tracker around you can see that we're now looking and the gimbal is all synchronized with it so as I look around it will work beautifully and that's the trick so a couple of things then to remember if you're going to do this. First of all is the installation is really simple, just goes under this cover. Set your radio up and um, connect it as we've talked about. Remember the um, signals and everything else um, that we've talked about in the graphics. That's the easiest way to remember it, how it's going to be installed. Uh, if you find that as you move your goggles one way, the uh, tilt is moving the other way, take it from a positive to a negative number on your input. And if the tracker isn't moving enough, so you'll notice that if you try it and put a camera on here, if it feels like it isn't moving slightly enough, then you can increase or decrease the amount of signal. So take, if it isn't moving enough, take that 100 to 110, or uh, take it down if it's moving too much, take that 100 down to 90 and try it. So hopefully that helps those of you that are interested in head tracking and particularly the Fat Shark Trinity module. 
Again, thank you to those guys for sending the technology for us to play with. And for those of you that have the Dominator V3s, it's another thing you can look at doing. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.